So for a lot of us that are updating these old school boats, hip pads become sort of a problem. Old school seats, they were kind of expecting you to glue stuff in, and most of us want to use modern hip pads to do that, which only have a top strap which goes across. So I'm going to show you the right way to put Velcro in and fully install one of these so that it's still adjustable but secure. Went to the hardware store and got adhesive backed Velcro. Now while I can temporarily mount these on, they're never going to stay as is. So I'm going to show you how to permanently affix this and uh, make sure that it lasts for a really long time. First things first, we're going to measure out the existing Velcro. On this old Jackson pad, it's five inches wide. And you can see on this side, it's nice and stitched in. So we need an equally permanent affixer over here. And what I'm going to do is run vertical strips at about four inches wide. So I have space to work with. And now I can have a vertical adjustment. And then once these are in, I'm going to permanently tack it with rivets. You could use nuts and bolts if you wanted to, but that's going to be a lot of time reaching around the back, trying to get things to you know, screw on. So this is much quicker. I did the first one so you can see what I'm talking about. If you're going to use something else, make sure it's a really flush head like this rivet is. Otherwise, it's going to tower up and push away from the Velcro, basically negating it. So I'm going to show you real quick. Once you have your sizing right, how quick it is to just zip in your Velcro with rivets. There you go, that'll work on any old school or any new school boat where you're not using the original hip pads or the original hip pad adhesive fails on the back of the Velcro.